So about five or six years ago, a new uh, mutation was discovered in a set of diseases that are interrelated, and myelofibrosis is one of those diseases upon which we have focused as a first step. Um, we know that there is a particular signaling pathway that is activated in the cancer cells as a consequence of this mutation, and so in a, com in a, in a collaborative effort with drug companies and investigators at academic institutions such as ours, we have developed a partnership to first test drugs in the laboratory and then subsequently bring these drugs into the clinic to test patients. And the commonality between these two studies is that these drugs selectively target this abnormal signaling pathway that is activated through a particular class or group of mutations. These drugs represent uh, targeted therapies or smarter treatments. They are not uh, a blunt hammer which uh, chemotherapy constitutes, but are more uh, refined drugs that, that selectively shut down this cancer-related pathway in cells. Both studies were done in patients with myelofibrosis. Uh, and the major issues with this disease, with myelofibrosis, are anemia, uh, very symptomatic marked splenomegaly, and constitutional symptoms. Those are the three major issues. In addition, some patients may have a high white count and a high platelet count, which can sometimes cause problems. This is the disease population that we did the studies on. And we have had very pleasant surprise uh, with one of the drugs, CYT387, in that not only the expected treatment response in alleviating marked splenomegaly and constitutional symptoms were realized, but also in addition, about 40% of the patients also benefited uh, from treatment in terms of anemia. And this is the first time a JAK inhibitor had a substantial positive effect on anemia. The other drug uh, is, uh, appears to be the only one from the class of drugs uh, that have actually produced a significant decrease in the JAK2 mutation allele burden. Uh, so those are the two big points. Uh, and uh, the, they are the beginning of many more studies that will be done to validate these results and, and take them to the next level. We have seen some very promising results as a first step with the drug TG101348. For the first time, it provides proof of principle, which is to say that this drug can shut down the signaling pathway. And the proof of that is that the mutation level in the blood of the patients who are treated with this drug actually goes down by about 50%. And this effect is quite durable over a period of uh, one year of treatment and these patients also have significant clinical benefits in terms of decreasing spleen size and also improvement in their symptoms and we think this is a f uh, uh, consequence of shutting down that signaling pathway that I mentioned.